After stomping out his cousin like that, I knew I was gonna have to deal with that fool someday. But damn, I never thought he'd come back like this. Blasting. Like I said, it was funny like that in the hood sometimes. When I mean, you never knew what was gonna happen or when. I had done too much to turn back. And I'd done too much to go on. I guess in the end, it all catches up with you. My grandpa asked me one time if I care whether I live or die. Yeah, I do. Now it's too late. All right, Shalom Maki, I'm out there. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashimi Abishai. Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shai. Dub honors to the apostles at Great Millstone. Watch Shalom to all you brothers out there uh, teaching this word in truth and sincerity. All right, this is uh, GMS Strive to be saved. Back at you brothers with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi Abishai. Um, and this lesson uh, will be entitled, uh, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, seriousness of the times. And as you can see, um, I put in a little clip of uh, Minister Society, you know, that movie back from the 90s and shit. Uh, the ending part, uh, the, point, the point of that clip was at the ending, he basically was, he's basically was saying, um, my grandpa once asked me, he once asked me, uh, do I believe in God, right? Now, if you've seen the movie the first time, when, when you asked him, he said, I don't know. You know, and he just kept on living his life of sin and wickedness, right? But at the end of the movie, when shit got real, you know what I'm saying, when his life was on the line, he basically repeated the question again, like, yeah, once my grandpa asked me before, do I believe in God? Yeah, I do. But now it's too late because he ended up dying at the end of the movie. You know what I mean? And that, that was the whole point of me putting that clip in. Uh, and it goes back to the title of this lesson, uh, Seek Ye the Lord While He May Be Found. All right, and, um, I'm going to just uh, hop right into the uh, scriptures. Uh, Lord willing, uh, this may be edifying, you know, unto the body. You know, hey, that first scripture, it'll be um, Isaiah chapter uh, six, uh, 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call, call ye upon him while he is near. Right, so this scripture is basically indicating that it's going to be a time where the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, is not going to be found out there. You know, now is the time to, to seek him. So it's going to be a time later that he's he's not going to be found. And you can't seek him anymore because th then it'll be the time of judgment. Right? So it says, call ye upon him while he is near. And how you call upon the Lord? You, you pray to him. All right, you pray into the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right, you ask the Lord to open your mind to start understanding the scriptures. You know, you got to pray with faith as well, right? So it says, verse 7, it says, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And the, this wicked right here is talking about uh, the Israelite man, right? Not just anybody could uh, forsake forsake his way. This is talking about the Israelite man, right? Not, not uh, nobody from the other nations. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. So the Lord is basically saying right here that, yeah, if you, if you return unto me, then I will abundantly pardon your sins, but you have to return unto me wholeheartedly, right, in truth, okay? Because the times we coming in, man, it's, it's, it's some crucial times, man, you know? And that's why uh, I named it also a uh, seriousness of the times because, man, the times we in now, man, hey, shit. If you ain't got the Lord on your side, then you, hey, you're going to be put to death, man, you know, straight up. You know, so you want to have the Lord on your side in these times, man. You want to be seeking him as much as possible. All right, which, uh, which leads me to the next script. You know, Zephaniah. Zephaniah 2 and 1. It says, Gather yourselves together, yea, 
uh, gather together, O nation, not desire, right? This is talking about the nation of Israel, right? Um, it says, verse 2, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, right? And before the When it says, before the decree bring forth, meaning before the Lord let loose his judgment, man, all right? Because it's written that the Lord is going to judge this place, America, which is in the scriptures known as Babylon, the great, right? But the judgment hasn't happened yet. You know, we still living in times with nothing, uh, nothing is like fucking chaos out here. You know what I mean? But it will be, you know, it says before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. So the scriptures are saying, hey, gather yourself together, uh, ye, ye Israelites, really uh, the elect, man, because the Lord is only looking for his elect, man. Gather yourself together, meaning, meaning come to me before before the uh, the fierce anger of the Lord be poured out, right? It says, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you, indicating this, like, hey, it's going to be a day of the Lord's anger, man, all right? And if you're not in good graces with the Most High and His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then you out of there, man. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be put to death, man. And 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 hey, psh, man, I'll be the first to tell you, man. I don't want to be put to death, man. You know? I mean, shoot, you know, it's brothers that's gonna be martyrs, but you know, that's different, you know, because you're dying in the faith. But, you know, I ain't trying to fucking feel that fire, man. You know, because missiles are gonna rain down on this place. All right. That's that's Bible prophecy as well. All right, that's that's the Lord's anger, you know. It says, verse 3, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. And, and if you go to, um, I believe it's in, uh, it's, just, it's a scripture in Psalms. It basically tell you the meek are the Israelites. It's also in uh, Matthew, man. The meek shall inherit the earth, man. This is talking about the Israelites, all right? So this is, this is only pertaining unto you, all right? When the Lord says this, Seek ye the Lord, Yehovah Bashem Yehovah Shai, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. And right, that's that's the whole point. You want to be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. You know what I'm saying? Meaning you, you want to uh, have this knowledge on you, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to have that mark uh, that speaks about in Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, uh, exempt from judgment. You want to have that upon you, man, to be hid, man. Hey, because the because the judgment is going to come, whether you whether we like it or not, you know, whether I like it or not, whoever out there, man, the judgment is going to come. You know what I'm saying? That's for sure. So it's it's important that you have yourself right in these times, man, speaking for myself most uh, first and foremost. You know, you read that last part again. It says, seek meekness and may ye be it, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. And that's that's what we are seeking for, man. Be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. That's why we gotta seek the Lord now. Man. All right. Um the next scripture would be um Second Peter chapter three. Second Peter chapter three, verse ten. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right. And that's and that's how it's going to come to all these people that's, that's not knowing. All these people out here that's not seeking the Lord, the true Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that, that day is going to come upon them as a thief in the night, meaning that they ain't going to know. They ain't going to know what hit them, man. It's going to be like a fucking Mike Tyson punch, you know what I'm saying, why you got your eyes closed type of shit, you know? You know but to the brothers who in the knowledge, in the know, is not going to come upon us as a thief, right? To someone who's seeking the Lord. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and the earth also in the works that are uh, therein shall be burned up. Right, this is going into the nuclear missiles, man. 
all right? Because that's how this place is going to uh, pass away with fervent heat and with a great noise. That great noise is talking about the missiles. That's what it's talking about, all right? Uh, verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashimi Abishai, where in the heavens, uh, where the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and when the, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right. So I brought this scripture out because these are uh, basically uh, things that a man who's seeking the Lord are going to find himself doing. All right. Because it says, seeing that all these things may be dissolved, what man of the person you ought to be? And all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasten unto the day of the Most High, man. That's a that's a man who's seeking the Lord in the seriousness of the times, all right? Because we ain't got that much longer to go for these missiles to come fucking crashing down on this place, man. You know, it's a couple more prophecies left. You know, these missiles gonna come crashing down on this place, man. You know, we got North Korea uh, testing missiles. We got all all these nations testing missiles, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the missiles are here. You know? It says, um, verse 13, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, which is the new earth, the new heaven and the new earth, right, the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? Not an actual new, uh, new earth. It's going to be a uh, new meaning refreshed, all right? Because after the missiles hit this place, this uh, our kingdom is going to be established. Man, we're going to have the nations build uh, build up our kingdom, all right? And we're going to rule with our Lord, Yahweh Shai, in righteousness, all right? So wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, seek ye Yahweh Shai, that goes into seeking the Lord, man. And we are in the year of death, destruction, and diligence, right? It says, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Right, being hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that's what uh, a true man uh, who's seeking the Lord, man, would want, man. You know? And, um, yeah, I got uh, one last scripture. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Baruch chapter 4 verse 28 so matter of fact before I get that scripture I just thought of a scripture in my mind that the like goes perfect with this topic man because you got Jake you got Jake out there they're gonna wait to the last minute Fucking last minute when you could be seeking the Lord now, man. Now, getting on these videos, man. Getting getting them prayers up, man. Being being serious and, and fervent about this word, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to do that now, man. Not not when fucking all hell breaking loose. Cause hey, you gonna have Jake that's gonna be fucking doing that, man. Trying to fucking cram the Bible and uh, asking the men of the Lord questions. Now they want to ask questions, right? Um. This is Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. It says, I will go. This is uh, Yahweh speaking. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Right. When all hell breaking loose and, and, and Jacob's troubles here, that's when they're going to want to seek the Lord, man. But at, but at the end, it's going to be too late. Like that clip I put, like the dead Jake, man. Now that he fucking all bloody in the face and <laughs> he all bloody in the mouth and shit. Oh man, I, I believe in God now. You know what I mean? That's how Jake gonna try to do it, man. You know? That's why it's, it's you know, hey, you gotta get this now, man. You know? So you can be hidden the day of the Lord's anger. All right, this will be the uh, the last scripture. Um, this is Baruch chapter 4, verse uh, 28. So it says, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh so being returned, seek him ten times more, 
Right. So this goes back to seeking the Lord, man, because we, you know, we wasn't born with this knowledge. You know what I'm saying? But now that we got it, now that we returned, now we got to seek the Lord 10 times more, man. You know? And seeking the Lord goes into getting this knowledge, you know, uh, praying, fasting if you got to, uh, being brotherly to your brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? All that, man. You know? Because, hey, at the end of the day, you know, we want to be saved, man. We want salvation. We want to see the kingdom. You know? And uh, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying out there to you brothers, man. Uh, that was the last script. Uh, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone. And shout out to all you brothers out there teaching this word in the troops to see. All right, shout out. Thank you.